When painting your classic car, whether you're painting the entire car or just refinishing a panel, you know, there's a lot of variables that can be created by just the painter himself and not necessarily the mix of the paint. So because there's so many unforeseen kind of changes that a painter can make that will affect color, we're here with Terry Wright to help us make sense of what these situations are and some possible solutions for them. That's right, Mark. Uh, something we don't really think about is how we see color. Many of us have some sort of color deficiency. One in 12 males and one in 250 females are afflicted. Understanding this can help how we verify color. Let's take a short test to see how we do and I'm up for a test. Let's see how the, Yeah, I haven't been tested in a while, so let's go for okay. it. <laughs> so what I have here is a color deficiency test, and you're going to see a circle with a bunch of dots in it. Colored okay. dots, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And you're going to tell me what number you see in there. Yep. And then I'm going to go to another slide that will show that uh, what the result should be sure. and what you might see. And there's a, I don't know, a dozen slides or so. And we'll just All go right. through it and see what you see. Okay, so don't think about it too long. Just tell me what you see. Okay, yep. here we go. Let's start. 12. 12 is correct. So if you have a red and green deficiency, you should still see a 12 here. Okay. It might be kind of a gray shade, but you should still see a 12. So that's how it's kind of going to kind of go. It's going to be the one you, what you should see and then what you might see. Okay, next one. Looks like a number eight. And you're correct. That was an eight. Uh, if you see a three, you might have a red and green deficiency. Yeah. We, we tend to have red and green deficiencies. If any color family at all, it's usually red and green. Okay. So that's, you'll, you'll hear that repeated quite a bit. Next one. Five. Five. That is normal to see a five. You may see a two. Oh. Yeah. Next one. Looks like 29. 29. That is correct. Some may see a 70. Huh. And if you look at it, you might be able to try to see how that could happen. Next. 74. 74 is it. Hmm. Deficiency, you would see a 21. Hmm. Next. 7. Seven it is. If you have a deficiency, you may not see that at all. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. I don't want you guys to get discouraged here if you're not seeing these. This is not <laughs> unusual. One in 12 males. Yep. 45. 45. That is correct. And again, you may not see a number at all. Hmm. Next. Number two. Two is correct. And again, you may not see anything. Hmm. Next one. I see nothing. Looks like a bunch oh, of squiggly this is, lines. This is where we're going to trip you up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now there wasn't anything. There wasn't <laughs> but you may see a number two in there. Oh, if, if you, you have, have a deficiency. deficiency. Yeah, if mm -hmm. you do, you might see a two. Next one. This looks like a 16. You are correct. Again, nothing. You hmm. won't see anything. On this one, there's two X's, and I want you in your mind to draw a line from X to X. Okay. You got that in your mind? Yep. Does it look like that? Exactly like that. Okay, good. How about this next slide? 35. Okay. It is 35. Now, if you have a strong red deficiency, you'd see a five. If you have a strong green deficiency, you'll see a three. Hmm. Next one. 96. That is correct. 96. Again, the same. Strong red deficiency, you'll see a six. Strong green, you'll see a nine. On this one, draw two lines from X to X. Mm -hmm. Got it in your mind? Yep. Okay. Does it look like that? Sure does. All right. Uh, if you see a, if you see purple, you have a red deficiency. If you see a red, you have a green deficiency. Hmm. And I believe that might conclude our test right there. I passed the test then. 
Did you? You did. I think you did. So, Mark, the reason why I ran you through that test is I'll have some painters that I deal with that honestly can't see color very well. So what this does, it helps me determine if they do have a color deficiency. And it's just a baby, it's not the really definitive test, but it's enough to know if he might be not seeing the same color as I'm seeing or somebody without a deficiency. And it really helped kind of clear the, the path Yep, to see if there's an issue there. Having a baseline to understand how how a painter would perceive color may be a first step into resolving if the issue is his perception of it or whether it's you know an actual problem with the paint or the application technique, right? There's no doubt. You need to get that one out of the way. And I have had. Uh, a handful of color deficient painters in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, you do need to get that, clear that up right out of the way, right off the bat and uh, make sure that's not the problem before you go deeper. Great, and, and all good advice. And you know, that way when you, uh, you go into the shop, you know, you know what to expect. If you know what your limitations are, you know what to expect and what to accommodate and getting a perfect match on your classic car then.